Welcome back dear learners. In this video, we'll be covering the historical evolution of United Nations organization and the subsequent emergence of model UN conferences. The United Nations organization or the UN came into existence in 1945 after the end of the Second World War when major world powers decided that if they were to prevent another world war, they would require a strong diplomatic platform where all the nations of the world would come together and resolve their disputes peacefully. With this primary objective in mind, the United Nations came into existence just over seven decades ago, but the philosophy and the concept of it preceded its existence. The philosophy of UN arrived with the world's first global organization that aimed for dispute resolution called the League of Nations. The League of Nations came into existence in 1920 following the end of the First World War. Many thinkers of the time, including American President Woodrow Wilson, concluded that this war had happened mainly because nations did not trust each other and conducted secret diplomacy to meet their geopolitical goals, leading to an environment of paranoia. The League of Nations was expected to end this and pave the way for a world of harmony and trust. As the world's first global organizations came into existence, universities of Harvard and Oxford came up with the idea of international assemblies paving the way for the world's first model diplomatic platforms. The students of these elite universities, representing nations and discussing real-time problems, emerged as a highly effective concept not only to teach international relations and law, but also to teach the skills of public speaking, negotiation and diplomacy for students belonging to all academic backgrounds and professional interests. The League of Nations began declining in its power and influence as major world powers either chose to remain out of it or were removed from it due to various reasons. And this decline snowballed into the Second World War, a catastrophe of a scale even bigger than the First World War. And towards the end of this war came the United Nations Organization, which had the exact same core concept and goal but had a different structure in order to prevent the mistakes of the past. This new global organization believed in a realistic doctrine and introduced several practical changes to the pre-existing systems followed under the League of Nations. These new changes helped the United Nations become an effective and influential successor to the League of Nations and equipped it to survive the test of times in the chaotic international arena of the past 70 years. And as this new global organization emerged and expanded, the concept of model diplomatic conferences re-emerged into Western universities of the time, and this time they were called Model United Nations Conferences. The first model UN conference was organized by Swarthmore College in the US and the trend continued to spread throughout various universities of United States, Canada and Western Europe. The concept was now more open than ever but still catered only to a small college-going populations of these developed nations. This changed in 1990s when rapid globalization and cultural exchange finally spread the concept of model UN to the rest of the world. Countries like Singapore, Brazil and India among others began organizing Model UN conferences in their schools and colleges and helped the skills associated with these conferences reach millions more over the years. Today, Model UN conferences take place in over 30 countries organized by thousands of schools and colleges enabling millions of students all over the world to learn various skills these conferences have to offer. Let us summarize our learning. The League of Nations emerged as the world's first global organization in 1920 following the end of the First World War. First model diplomatic platforms emerged in 1920s in the form of international assemblies. The United Nations organization came into existence in 1945 as a successor to the League of Nations following the end of the Second World War. First model UN conferences came into existence in 1950 but were restricted to only a few elite Western universities. Globalization in 1990s saw the spread of this concept which led to an adoption of model UN conferences among the academic institutions of various developing countries from all over the world. Today, model UN conferences take place in over 30 countries with millions of participants from all over the world who enhance their skills of negotiation, public speaking and diplomacy as a result of these conferences. In our next video, we will try to understand certain basic rules followed by model UN conferences by exploring Robert's rules of order. Thank you.